Hello everyone. Welcome again to the iQuanta LRDI 50 series. In this series, we'll be solving an exact cat level set every day till cat. So today's set is 10 persons A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J tried to solve four problems P1, P2, P3, and P4. Each person solved all the four puzzles correctly or incorrectly. At the end, it was found that no one has solved all the four puzzles correctly and also none of the puzzles was correctly solved by all of them it is also found that so we have 10 people who are trying to solve four puzzles we have been told that there is no person who is solving all the four puzzles correctly and there will be no such puzzle which will be solved by all the people correctly so the clues that we have are no two puzzles were solved correctly by the same number of persons second one is all the persons who solved p1 correctly also solved p2 correctly so these clues are regarding the puzzles that these people are solving correctly, the number of puzzles that these people are solving correctly. So we'll go through all these clues. Let us read the questions first. Who among the following solved P1 and P3 correctly? So basically we need to find out which particular puzzle was solved correctly or incorrectly by all these people. Second one is who among the following could not solve P1 correctly. So for this also we need the same. So what we'll do, we'll go to the next slide, we'll draw a table in which we'll be putting all the puzzles on one side along the row and we can put all the people along the column and then we can try to find out what was the number of puzzles and which puzzles were solved by all of these people correctly or incorrectly. So let's go to the next slide. So we are relating puzzles and people. So let me write down the names of all the puzzles over here. P1, P2, P3 and P4. And I'll be writing down names of all the people over here A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. These are the people that we have. Let me draw a tabular structure. So now this is the table that we have. Now whenever a person will answer a puzzle correctly, we'll put a tick over there. If he's answering that puzzle incorrectly, we'll put a cross over there. Let's go through all the clues now. The first one is no two puzzles were solved correctly by the same number of persons. So this clue will help us to verify whether we have solved the set correctly or not. We'll use this later. Second one is all the persons who solved P1 correctly also solved P2 correctly. But since we do not know how many people solved P1 correctly, so we cannot use this clue at the moment. Third one is there was one puzzle which was solved incorrectly by only ACD. So this means that there was one puzzle which was solved incorrectly only by ACD. So that means ACD, all three of them will be solving that puzzle incorrectly. And another puzzle was solved incorrectly by only B and E. So there will be some other puzzle that will be solved incorrectly only by B and E. But since we do not know which are those puzzles, so we'll leave this clue for now. Next clue is the number of persons who solved P4 correctly was more than the number of persons who solved P3 correctly, which in turn was more than the number of persons who solved P1 correctly. So if we move with this clue directly, then there will be too many cases in which P4 will be solved correctly by more number of people than P3 and P3 will be solved correctly by more number of people than P1. So we'll leave this. The next clue is there was total 11 incorrectly solved puzzles altogether. So that means in total there will be 11 incorrectly solved puzzles. We know that we have 10 people over here. We have 4 puzzles. So 10 into 4 that means there will be 40 entries in this whole table out of which 11 will be incorrect entries. That means we'll put 11 crosses in the table. Rest 29 we'll have correct entries. That means we'll put ticks. The last clue is only J solved P2 incorrectly. So P2 was solved incorrectly only by J. So J and P2 will put a cross over here and rest all of them will be tick marks. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, they all solved P2 correctly while J solved P2 incorrectly. Now which clue to use? We were given in the fourth clue that the number of persons who solved P4 correctly was more than the number of persons who solved P3 correctly, which in turn was more than the number of persons who solved P1 correctly. So let me write it down over here. Who solved P4 correctly was more than the number of persons who solved P3 correctly was more than the number of people who solved P1 correctly. Apart from this, in the second clue, we were also given that all the persons who solved P1 correctly also solved P2 correctly. So if P2 has been solved incorrectly by J, that means P1 will also be solved incorrectly by J. Because if we put a tick over here, P1 and J, then we'll have to put a tick on P2 and J. 
which is not possible so that means we will not put a tick over here that means p1 was answered incorrectly by j also so now let us try to work with this now using this clue let us try to find out how many people solved p4 correctly p3 correctly p1 correctly so if i count the number of people who solved all these puzzles correctly and incorrectly then i know that p2 was the puzzle which was solved correctly by most of the people and nine people solved p2 correctly one person solved p2 incorrectly then after that we know that p4 will be the puzzle that will be solved by most of the people correctly and then p3 will be solved by most of the people correctly at last p1 will be solved by most of the people correctly so let us try to find out how many people answered p4 correctly p3 correctly p1 correctly see we were given that no two puzzles were solved correctly by same number of people so that means if P2 was solved correctly by 9 people definitely P4 will be solved by 8 people correctly it cannot be 9 it cannot be 10 then P3 will be solved by 7 people correctly and P1 will be solved by how many in total we should have 29 correct so 9 plus 8 17 plus 7 24 plus 5 so that means P1 will be solved by 5 people correctly we'll also try to find out some other possibilities so let me write down those possibilities over here the first we found out was p4 will be solved by 8 people correctly p3 by 7 and p1 by 5 and p2 was solved by 9 people correctly we always have to make sure that the sum of all these correct puzzles must be equal to 29 then this p2 he will always answer 9 puzzles correctly so it will remain 9 over here what can be some other possibility p4 can be solved by 7 people correctly then p3 will be solved by 6 people correctly why am i doing this because the number of people who answered a particular puzzle correctly it must be distinct now 9 plus 7 16 plus 6 22 so this becomes 7 so now in this case this order is not being followed because we know that p3 must be greater than p1 so this is wrong then again p2 will be 9 let us try to find out some other possibilities if i put 8 over here 6 over here then 9 8 17 plus 6 23 i'll have to put 6 over here in this case also p3 is not greater than p1 p3 and p1 are equal so even this is not a possibility so this is the only possibility that means p2 will be answered by 9 people correctly p4 will be answered correctly by 8 people p3 will be answered correctly by 7 people and p1 will be answered correctly by 5 people so this is the only possibility so if p4 is answered correctly by 8 people 2 people will answer it incorrectly here 3 people will answer this incorrectly and 5 people here will answer p1 incorrectly so i hope this is clear this is the most crucial point to crack this set now we know that p4 was answered correctly by 8 people but who are those 8 people so for that we'll use clue number 3 there was one puzzle which was solved incorrectly by a c and d only a c and d so there will be one particular puzzle which will be solved incorrectly by only a c d so which can be that puzzle definitely that puzzle will be p3 because there is only one puzzle which is solved incorrectly by only a c d so p3 will be that puzzle so a will be solving p3 incorrectly c will be solving p3 incorrectly d will be solving p3 incorrectly similarly in the same clue another puzzle was solved incorrectly by only b and e so which will be that puzzle that puzzle will be p4 because there's only one puzzle that means another puzzle which was solved incorrectly by only b and e so that means b and e will be solving p4 incorrectly so b will be solving p4 incorrectly e will be solving p4 incorrectly then we know that there's only one puzzle that was solved by a incorrectly and that is p3 so we'll put ticks all over then for b also b also solved only one puzzle incorrectly c also solved only one puzzle incorrectly that was p3 same for d and same for e as well now as soon as we do this we can see here that p1 was solved correctly by five people and those five people are a b c d e that means p1 will be solved incorrectly by these five people then p3 was solved incorrectly by three people and these are those three people a c and d so we'll put ticks in all the remaining spaces similarly 
P4 that was solved by only two people incorrectly. Those two people are B and E. So that means we'll fill the whole table with ticks. So our table is complete. We can answer the questions now. So the first question is who among the following solved P1 and P3 correctly? So first option is B. B solved P1 and P3 correctly. E. E also solved P1 and P3 correctly. A. A didn't solve P3 correctly. So we have B and E who are solving P1 and P3 correctly. The correct answer will be more than one of the above. Second question is who among the following could not solve P1 correctly? So I, J, E, C. So E and C they have solved P1 correctly. This won't be the answer. F, G, H, G, E. So out of these E has solved P1 correctly. So this will be gone. F, H, G, C. Out of these C has solved P1 correctly. This will be gone. F, G, H, I, J. So F, G, H, I, J they have solved P1 incorrectly. They have solved P1 incorrectly, so this will be the answer. Third question is who among the following could not solve P4 correctly? So A, he solved P4 correctly. C, C also solved P4 correctly. E, E could not solve P4 correctly. This will be the answer. F, F solved P4 correctly. So E will be the answer to this question. Fourth one is how many solved P2 correctly? So P2 was solved by nine people correctly. So that's it. The ideal time to solve this set, it must be max to max six minutes. So I hope the explanation was clear. If there's a doubt, please ask again. Thank you.